The Minister of Labour and Employment, Chris Ngigi, has said that the presidential candidate of Labour Party in the forthcoming election, Peter B, is his brother while speaking at his hometown in Indemili, South Local Government Area of Anambra State. Chris Ngigi said Peter B's local government is next to his and that he knows him too well. He also said that he knows the leadership capacity of Peter B. Speaking for that, Christine Gege said Bola Metinubu and Kwakwansu are his friends too, and that he will not go around to campaign for candidates A, B, or C. Gege called on Nigerians to look at the manifestos of the three candidates he said are his friends and vote rights. In his words, he said, in part, Peter B of Liberal Party is my brother. His local government is next to mine here, my successor, and everything. I know him too well. I know his capacity. They are my friends and they are well known to me. They have worked with me in one way or the other before now. Okay. From what Ngege said, it seems he does not want to endorse any candidates, but rather he wants Nigerians to put to use their PVC to make the right choice on the day of the election. Ngege and Peter Obi are from the same state where Bola Metinumbu is his political ally. Do you agree with the position on being on him being neutral? Hmm. This is full of wisdom. Of course, he has said he's not going to campaign for APC. He has said it right from time and it's attacking for that. So he just wants to be neutral and it's as good as that. All he's saying is that vote wisely. All of them, he knows all of them. So Nigerians, use your tongue to count your teeth. That is just exactly what he's saying and leave it at that. Vote wisely. You can imagine he does not even have confidence in his party candidates. If he does not even campaign for Peter B, of course it's understandable. Kwakwan so understandable. But why will he not come out boldly to campaign for Tinumbu? That speaks volume. If he has come out just like Soludo and the rest of them, everybody will understand that you are in the other party uh, okay, so that it won't sound or look like a anti party, which is understandable, but not be able to campaign so what are you what can you tell me is afraid of what do you think is afraid of chief Ngege, chris i respect you you have the saying of a wise man unlike prince arthur eze soludo chimaroke and so on who sold their bed right for a cup of tea Ngege is afraid of obi boys the ipop kano boys it is either you are a baboon or a monkey whichever Face your problems, they are too many. You said he's afraid because he took a stand as a man. His tribe is known to be sabotaged, nor afraid to speak up. Chris Ngege is supporting Peter B. He can't say that because APC will react. And that is it. But he used great diplomacy, unlike Soludo, that destroyed his political career. It's just like they said, passing six, no be passing sense. Professor can't by you common sense read in between the line he said he knows obese capacity though he has worked with others in one way or the other i feel pain that the people that people like arthur soludo and their likes can easily but easily be bought with money despite their exposure and enlightenment peter b is always ahead yes always ahead what is so special about singigi what of tinumbu boy Oshibaju, how are you sure he will vote Sinumbu? The man is scared of unknown government. Okay, give him Juju to protect himself. Nige knows what is right. That is why he's not campaigning for APC. Just believe that he's with Obi. Period. Coward died 10 times because they are dead since beginning of Nigeria. That is the character of an ordinary evil man. And they are quick calling names. This one you are doing now is what tribalism is what you are doing as well what you are accusing other people of doing you are doing the same thing Ngege knows who is capable to rule this country just because it's a minister under the evil government of apc moreover as a serving minister he could not support a candidate from a different party did he mention any parties supporting there it is not your fault you can only do this in a government led by buhari who only benefited from on other people's political capacity or capital and refused to learn policies. You are a minister in a party and supporting another party. After all, you are an 
appointee, not an elected official. The normal uh, president would have removed and probed you. You lie. It's not by force to support Tinubu. Everybody knows Tinubu conditions. So because he's working under APC, he should not say the truth. He should keep on supporting evil. Is that what you are trying to say? Going, uh, gone are those days. Okay, don't even worry. You will see more of what of that on elections day. So many of them will support to be. Hmm, no wonder somebody said it. The majority of the presidency in presidency are uh, supposing to be. Oh my God. Hmm. Okay. Ex Anambra Governor Gigi is a very smart uh, cat. Indeed, will understand his body language. The fear of obese presidency is the beginning of wisdom. Because OBJ have openly, has openly declared his support for Obi, fear has entered his lover. Ngege Peter Obi is not your brother. If, he's, if he is, he wouldn't have stolen his mandate and Anambra State Governor in, 2020, in 2003. Mr. Ma resign as a minister and stand firm to support your brother. Okay, with God, Peter Obi will win. Oga, tell all the local government in Anambra only goes to vote Mr. Obi. We, the Edo State Bini, we all are ready to Peter, Peter, our next president. Simply and fast, Ngege is an APC man. He knows very well the capacity of Obi. That is why he says, I know his capacity. He knows he's very capable and can't probably say, probably say it to avoid any anti-party issue. Ngege is an APC member and he cannot support the candidate of another political party as that we amount to anti-party activity yeah and that is it comforting so guys uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this